This is the notes video for section 6.2, slides 15 through 17. All right, so um, in section 6.2, we are learning something called U substitution, which is a strategy for uh, integrating some uh, increasingly complex functions. All right, so this is actually just kind of like the integration uh, with the chain rule. All right, so when we think about <clears throat> this question remember this is a like a unit 2 question uh, how do I find the derivative with respect to x of 3x squared plus 1 to the fourth all right so what we did was we said okay well that's like saying let's let u equal 3x squared plus 1 right and so really I'm saying all right what's the derivative of u to the fourth with respect to x right so well okay that's pretty easy that's just 4 times u to the third, but then remember we always said, okay, let's apply the chain rule times du dx. And so we realize, okay, well then if u is 3x squared plus 1, then du dx is actually just, well, 6x. Okay? Now, what we do is we actually are going to, uh, you know, put that in there, and so then we can say that uh, the derivative of 3x squared plus 1 to the fourth with respect to x is what? Well, it's 4u cubed times 6x, or in other words, 4 times u, which is 3x squared plus 1, cubed times 6x, right? So that's how we, uh, you know, use the chain rule. So now the question is, is how do we go backwards? All right. So what we're saying is, OK, now if we wanted to integrate, well, I'm going to rewrite this as uh, 24 X times 3 X squared plus 1 cubed. All right. So I want to integrate 24 X times 3 X squared plus 1 quantity cubed. All right. And we want to integrate that with respect to X. Right. All right, so how do I think about this? All right, well, what we need to do is we need to realize that we have a function inside of a function, right? 3x uh, squared plus 1 is inside of the cube. So we're going to say, all right, let's let u equal 3x squared plus 1, okay? So now that means that I have the integral of, and I'm going to write u cubed, all right? And then I've got this 24x dx, all right? So now, 24x dx. I just wanted to keep the x's together, all right? So now, if I have 24x dx, well, I have u cubed here. So I can't have two variables here. So I'm going to have to kind of deal with that, all right? So how do I deal with that? Well, we've got to get rid of the x's, all right? So in order to do that, I'm going to need to examine u over here. All right. Now, if I want to integrate u cubed, what am I going to need to have with u cubed? I'm actually going to need to have a du. So what is du? Well, du is associated with the derivative of u. So du dx is, well, what's the derivative of 3x squared plus 1? It's 6x. And so I can say, well, du is 6x dx. All right. So now this is the key. All right. So look back over here. 24x dx. All right, so 24 is actually 4 times 6x dx. So here is 6x dx. So that means in my integral, I have u cubed, and then 6x dx, that's du. And then I'm just going to take the 4. Remember, any constant multiple, we can move in front. So now I have 4 times the integral of u cubed du. Well, what is the integral of u cubed du? So this is just a question from section 6. One. So Integral of u cubed du is u to the fourth over four, and then of course plus c. All right, now the fours reduce, so I have u to the fourth plus c. But what is u? Well, u is 3x squared plus 1. So 3x squared plus 1 to the fourth plus c. Now, that was what we started with 3x plus 1 to the fourth, right? And so what we are doing now is we are basically taking the integral of something that has a derivative, right, but that must have had the chain rule applied when we had the derivative, all right? So that is u substitution.
Okay, it is challenging, but if you stick with it, you will get it ultimately. All right. So now, uh, let's try a couple examples here. All right, I have the integral of seven x plus three to the fifth. All right. So first thing that you want to do is you want to recognize that anytime you have a function within a function, right? So seven x plus three is inside of the fifth power. Okay, that is. Uh, going to kind of tell you that you probably want to use a new substitution. So u, generally speaking, is the function that is inside of the other function. So in this case, u is going to be equal to 7x plus 3. All right. Now, obviously, as we go, things will get a little bit more challenging. But the biggest issue is, initially, is choosing the correct u. All right. So if 7x plus 3 is u, then this integral becomes u to the fifth d x. It's very important that you remember this is dx. All right, so now u to the fifth dx. I cannot integrate this yet because I have to have u to the fifth du. And so that means I need to find du. So du dx is 7, right? And that means that du is 7 dx. So now take a look here. I have the integral of u to the fifth dx, but I don't have a 7 there. So this is the interesting thing. Can I put a 7 there? Well, no, I can't just arbitrarily put a 7 there. But if I put a 7 there, but then I also divide by 7, right? Because that's still just 1, and there's a 1 there, right? That's OK. And so now what I do is I have 7 divided by 7. But instead of 7 divided by 7, I say I really have like 1 7 times 7 dx, right? And so the 7 dx is the du. So that means that I have the integral of u to the fifth. 7 dx is du. Now, I still have the 1 7. And so I always move the 1 7 to the outside. And so I have 1 7 times the integral of u to the fifth du. All right, so what is the integral of u to the fifth? It would be u to the sixth over 6, and then, of course, plus c. And so 1 over 7 times 6, there I get 1 over 42 times u to the 6th. But what is u? 7x plus 3 to the 6th plus c. So that is the integral. Now, how do you check? Well, if you take the derivative of this answer, you should get the original integrand, 7x plus 3 to the 5th. So let's just verify that. If you take the derivative, you bring the 6 in front. So I would have 6 over 42 times 7x plus 3 to the 5th times the derivative of 7x plus 3, which is 7. And then plus c, the derivative of c is 0. So 7 times 6 is 42. So 42 over 42 reduces, and I'm left with just 7x plus 3 to the 5th. So this right here, 1 over 42 times 7x plus 3 to the 6th plus c is my answer. All right? So that's u substitution. All right, so now let's look at 16. All right, I have t cubed dt over the fourth root of 1 plus 2t to the fourth quantity cubed. All right, so first thing I want to do is I want to recognize that I have a function inside of a function. But before I do that, I'm going to rewrite this. Okay, I'm going to rewrite this as the integral of. All right, now, if I have the fourth root of 1 plus 2t to the fourth cubed, I'm going to write that as 1 plus 2 t to the fourth. Now, if it's the fourth root of that thing cubed, that would be to the negative three-fourths power, right? And then I have t cubed dt. All right, so I have this function, 1 plus 2t to the fourth, which is inside of the negative three-fourths power. So I'm going to let u equal 1 plus 2t to the fourth. Notice the 1 plus 2t to the fourth is inside of the negative three-fourths power. All right, so that means that I would have the integral of u to the negative three-fourths and then times t cubed dt. All right, so this is very important to remember. We're in, trying to integrate u now, so I need a du. So that means I go back up here. u is equal to 1, two, one plus 2t two to the fourth. So du dt is equal to, well, derivative of 1 is 0. Derivative of 2t to the fourth would be 8t cubed. Right, And so that means that du is 8t cubed dt. So now, 8t cubed dt. I have t cubed dt, so that means I need an 8. right? But if I have an 8 there, then I have to have a 1 eighth out here. 1 eighth times 8 is 1, which was my original coefficient there. So 
now I have one eighth integral of u to the negative three fourths, and then remember this whole thing, eight t cubed dt, is du. So one eighth. All right, what is the integral of u to the negative third? So u to the, remember you add one to the power, so negative two, divide by the new power, negative two, and then plus c. All right, and then we replace u with one plus two t to the fourth. So I have negative one sixteenth u, which is 1 plus 2t to the fourth. I'm sorry. I had negative 3 fourths there, uh, so we need to go back a little. I apologize. That doesn't change anything about the u substitution. I just miswrote the problem. So this is still 1 eighth, but this is negative 3 fourths. All right, so now integral of u to the negative 3 fourths. So I get u to the, if I add 1 to negative 3 fourths, I get positive 1 fourths. So u to the 1 fourth over 1 fourth plus c. And so now, if I have 1 eighth here and then I divide it by 1 fourth, that's like multiplying by 4. So I have 4 eighths or 1 half u, 1 plus 2t to the fourth, all to the 1 fourth power plus c. Now, it's also possible that like if you're looking on the answer sheet, instead of to the 1 fourth power, you're going to see the fourth root of 1 plus 2t to the fourth and then plus c. All right, so that's slide 16. All right, so u substitution, okay, is what we're doing there. But we could also involve it with trig. So let's look at um, slide number 17. All right, the integral of 3 sine of 5x minus 1. All right, so now, once again, we always look for a function inside of a function. So 5x minus 1 is inside of the sine. So we're going to let u equal 5x minus 1. All right, so I have the integral of... 3 sine of u. So sine of u. And what I like to do is I like to always put the coefficient on the outside. All right. And then I have dx. All right. So now I cannot integrate sine of u with respect to x. I need sine of u du. So then I have to say, okay, well, what is du dx? So du dx would be 5, which means du is 5 dx. All right. So I have a dx, but I need a 5 there. So if I need a 5 there, then I need a 1 fifth or a divided by 5 somewhere. So I always put that on the outside. And so I get 3 fifths integral of the sine of u du. Remember, 5 dx is equal to du. So now I use my rules from 6, 1. Integral of sine, okay, what is the integral of sine? It is negative cosine of u plus c, so negative 3 fifths cosine of, not u, but 5x minus 1 plus c. So that is my u substitution.